surreal. Seeing all these people feels insane. Welcome to another month. It is the start of the fall semester 2021 and I just got done with my uh, teaching appointment. So Tuesday and Thursday is the class that I'm co-teaching and uh, yeah, we had a really, really good time with a uh, course start and we played a game of Jeopardy, which one of the preceptors expertly led. In reforming, these diverse Hibarians get their array of colors from symbiotic algae called Zooxanthellae. What are corals? Very good. And I have a pretty good feeling about uh, that whole course and we are trying out the, all of these new modern learning techniques, active learning, which is supposed to give students the best um, knowledge, skills and experience that they can have instead of just sitting in lectures, sitting back, relaxing and letting the information go into one ear and out of the other. At the end I, I really found, wow, I am kind of happy right now in the moment <laughs> of just talking and not really teaching but you know being in charge of something and things going well interacting with people it's really rewarding all right first meeting with the uh, computer scientist group in a very nice building and here I am lying awake at 2.30 a.m. And uh, it's not because I'm ruinating or having a bad night, but it's uh, because I'm so excited about my work again. So I went to bed uh, with another round of tracking, running, and uh, you know, I woke up at night and I, I couldn't fall asleep. And then I just thought, hey, why not um, check up on the tracking whether it worked? And uh, it seemed to have worked. So I'm just currently going through some further steps of uh, data processing and cleaning it feels really good what all these driven people are, are saying about their work you know and having a startup and stuff that you know, can't stop working on it and I, and I was missing that for a long time I guess and so now I hope that this time it is um, it is lasting again so that this data is uh, what I will be eventually publishing. And yesterday I had a meeting with the computer science group and it was a bit overwhelming actually because there is an undergrad, PhD and a postdoc who all were just talking with me and the professor about the project and um, it seems like a lot. <laughs> I kind of feel a bit of pressure to not uh, disappoint them <laughs> with my oh, you know, biology, it's not really flashy and stuff, and, and they want to do machine learning. Oh, I should get back to either sleep or work. And I just had my second meeting already a week later and it looks really exciting now still because we are applying to a grant that would give us our A ships or research assistantships so giving us money for doing research instead of uh, teaching which I have been doing for ever now so that would be really nice just focusing on research and yeah things are coming together the computer scientists are going to help me with the age-old problems I have been having with uh, the code and uh, tracking. Well, that looks somewhat alright. I guess with that just one person, so one undergrad, could actually clean up all of this data within a week maybe? So that would be would be acceptable. So I would get through all of the first experimental data of videos and everything that I uh, took last year. Yeah, we could analyze this uh, by the end of the semester, which would be acceptable. First though, today I have to prepare a presentation about the scientific method, how to do science in general for the marine discovery class. And then I'll have a meeting with Anna because tomorrow I will have my third, fourth committee meeting. 
So I will gather around the professors that I selected to give me advice on uh, how I'm doing uh, in my PhD and with my thesis. And yeah, we will discuss about the future of my project or projects. And yeah, it's, uh, it's always fun. Other people are, are kind of uh, anxious about it, but I think it's really nice just to get all the, the smart people in one room and um, yeah, discuss everything about me. <laughs> So I will also have to prepare a short little presentation about all the great achievements that I have not made in the last year. And this is where I'm at uh, 15 minutes before the, the meeting. And uh, I'm a little bit tired, to be honest, because I made maybe half of this uh, presentation last night. Since apparently I am now uh, a biphasic sleeper, I oftentimes w wake up at exactly 2, 2.15, and then I just can't fall asleep for like 20, 30 minutes. And I've heard from a smart person once, or like many, that if you are awake at night lying there for more than 20 minutes, then you should just not even try falling asleep and just get up, uh, turn the light on and do something. And that's what I did. And yesterday I just felt like doing this type of work and uh, I was somehow really focused, like productive, you know, like on speed. And it was great. Then I did this for half an hour, an hour or so. Very efficient work. Then I did some, I don't know, internet scrolling, and yeah, then went to bed again at 3.30 something, and I didn't feel bad. Interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this meeting. Oh, I see. Ah, I forgot I um, was sharing my whole screen. Uh, I'm currently working on the first video of those 15. In two months, there might be a manuscript ready to be scrutinized. So certainly the introduction is pretty much written. I don't know how much sense that makes to to have it looked over twice. Yeah. It uh, took almost, almost an hour and it was really nice just talking about everything and everyone was kind of excited about what I was doing and what I had been analyzing so far. Um, I was sent outside in this breakout room alone. Um, because they're just discussing, you know, what else needs to be done. And yeah, my plans are I will still need two years to graduation. So in the end, like two years, roughly. Something interesting that one of my committee members was asking is, how much do you think you have lost in the with the pandemic? And uh, I think it was about a half a year or so that I lost. So uh, I'm still almost on track <laughs> to finishing almost on time. See you in the next video.